Hey, what up, guys? It's Julie Van Speaker. And on today's show, we got Samira Gibson in the lab. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to be interviewing you. Thank you for you having me. You have a beautiful me. voice. Thank no, you. thank you for coming, first of all. And thank you to Chanel. And thank you to my wonderful, wonderful 1166 friend. Hey. Thank you. I appreciate you. She's in the corner recording. Yes. So she's dope. All right. So um, let's jump straight into sure. this. Um, your voice... It's unmatched. First of all, I was trying to figure out who I can compare you to, but I really couldn't. So I was like, wow. all right, I was going through my list of like singers. I'm like, who can we, can we do this? No, not even close to anybody. I feel like Thank your you voice is, yeah, of course, but that's a good thing because I feel like it's original. Yeah. It's nobody that I personally could put my finger on. Cause usually when I hear people, I'm like, oh, they favor this person or they favor that person. But your voice is crazy. What at the age of five? Because I was doing my little research. Hey. You feel me? <laughs> what at the age of five um, made you feel like I want to be a singer? And first of all, did your voice come in like that, coming hot like that at five? You know, okay, so I, I started out singing in church. Right. And came up in church. My Amen. dad and mom had us in church every day of the week. Ooh, Prayer your parents. service, was... shut in, oh. choir rehearsal. Prayer night. <laughs> uh, sh- <laughs> Prayer night. Yeah. Sleeping in the back of the pews like exactly. me? Exactly. <laughs> oh, no. It, it, the church I went to, if you slept, you Ooh. had to stand up. Oh, we man. went to a very small um, uh, church in uh, I'm so sorry. Newark, Newark, New Jersey. Ooh. And they were like, listen. Not playing no, no games. No, yeah. They were, they was, they was, no games. No. Mm. So, um, I, I started out, one of my first songs was uh, Mary J. Blige, I'm Going Down. And um, wow. I had the same kind of voice when I was younger. It was, you know, a little raspy. Yeah. But I feel like my vocal cords, and, I, and this is a true story, mm. I used to eat a lot of candy when I was a kid. No way. And um, I used to have to go to the dentist. Mm. And when I had to go to the dentist, I used to have to get a lot of fillings, a lot of this, mm. a, lot, a lot of work. And they would put me in a straitjacket because I would kick, move so you much. You were one of those? I was one of those because they, no, okay, I hated the dentist. But the dentist that I went to, they traumatized me. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to go up. I'll make this long story short. But That's I used okay. to basically, my, my, uh, my vocal cords and my lungs and my windpipes got stronger because I used to scream. I was going to say at that. At the dentist. <laughs> and they used to hear me three floors up. And they would come down and say, whose child is this screaming like this? (laughs) And my voice just got stronger. So then I started singing at school. Yeah, that power behind it. Yeah. And I was, you know, getting into other things that, you know, also keeping myself out of trouble. I came up in Newark. Right. So it was, if you ask anybody about Newark in the 90s, just trouble was just lurking. It's tough. It was lurking. So me and my family, (laughs) after it got too bad, we moved to South Carolina. Oh, wow. I really started to sing in church. I got that home, Southern church I was about to say, you definitely got that training down there for sure. You have a lot of control, by the way. Thank you. Most artists do not. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm sorry. Well, I, I was truth. classically trained, but mm. um, I ended up in, in embracing that. And like mm. the, the lady used when in the beginning, I was just, <laughs> you know, singing, singing, Every doing your thing, singing. Uh, but yeah, wow. but yeah. Um, I know your mom's proud. Definitely. Oh yeah. So that's my baby. Yeah, my mom that's is my like baby. my biggest support. I would come home from school and she mm. would have the fried chicken in the aluminum foil. Like, mm. all right, we jumping on a Greyhound. You got an audition this wow. Saturday. And we would literally drive a ride ten hours. And then it got to a point where I was like taking a Greyhound by myself. I was very young. Wow. Taking a Greyhound by myself. I'm like, Mom I got this. You know I know the ride. Right, right. I know where to switch buses. <laughs> like you know, and then I ended up moving uh, moving back to New York um, mm-hmm. when I was about 15. Wow. Um, and the rest of my family is in the South, and me and my sister moved in together, and we just... Your story you know, is crazy. I, you know what? This is... I, yeah. It's like a movie. I, yeah. I'm, like, wa- yeah. like watching it in my head. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can see it. Like, it reminded me a little bit of... Um, Oh, not really, but a little bit of like the Fantasia parts, like certain parts mm-hmm. in the Fantasia movie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I was like, damn, man, this sounds like a movie. Mm-hmm, I think we mm-hmm. need to call some producers after we leave here. To Come get on, this. get Lifetime on the line. So better than <laughs> Lifetime. Let's get, let's get this in theaters. Let's get this in theaters. <laughs> I mean, we, we get it in theaters, but I mean, I grew up on Lifetime. We get it. If we... <laughs> no, sometimes it would stay on the Lifetime channel all day. That's my sister. Damn, this movie. Oh my god, I'm actually get a lifetime. <laughs> All right, so what I wanted to say too, um, you what's interesting about you is you are I don't I don't want to say packaged because it sounds so not 
like pitchy <laughs> like, or, right or, or. but like your energy is your presence your it's crazy it's very commanding like how mm. are you able to do because I, I, that's probably a dumb question but i'm like i gotta ask her, how are you able yeah. to like literally walk in a room and just kind of command it like that i, I don't know I mean, I mean i feel like you know we're all individuals right you know i just pull from the the, the source mm. from 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 source of energy you right know what I, mean? I mean god being one, he goes into my music, goes everywhere I go. Mm. Like he's with me all the time. Right. Um, that's just instilled in me. So I just mm-hmm. that's I don't know. I I don't know exactly what how other people are. I just I just am. Everyone has a different light mm. within them, you know. Right. And all I'm doing is giving back. Yeah, what was I feel like to yours me. Is genuine. Because I've met you. a couple of artists where they're like, Yeah, I'm an artist, but like this it's you're probably maybe the second or third person that I've met like you're an artist like oh, for real wow. for real some artists you're like oh, it's, you it's, might want to change professions <laughs> <laughs> oh man no no I just feel like you know it is our responsibility to give back what mm. what, what we were given from right. wherever whatever source you're you're pulling from or wherever it is you know it's our responsibility to find that and, and tune into it so that we right. can you know project and, and, get, and put out what right. we're given it's our responsibility we all have life and we all live in it and right you know, it's important. Definitely. It's important to just be as authentic as possible. And that's true. And that's what I was going to say, too, by the way. apologetic about it. And Do you all. think? Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? Your, your energy and your artistry? It reminds me of, like, 90s. Ooh. Very, very genuine. It's very... I feel like today... <laughs> We were not even going to talk about it's today. <laughs> but it is it's, true. It's it is like, true. You know what I the, mean? The it's like that 90s sort of thing. And I appreciate that. If there was any era right. that I could choose, I mean, the 90s was definitely it. I mean, if I could have been, if I could have came up in the 70s, I, I probably would have wanted to yeah. maybe try that. But like the other than that, the 90s, the 80s too, but like the 90s. It was, was genuine. It. I like, I fell asleep watching Martin last night. It's one of my favorite shows. <laughs> and Martin's word bomb. for word. Like word for word. That's like the show that we oh came up Oh my on. God. We used to put the VHS in, and push tape record, it. tape it, <laughs> stop it during the commercials. And then when it came back on, oh, it's like that. push yeah. the record button. That was Listen me too. To that, I used to go to yeah. dollar store and buy a bunch of like tapes. Yeah. You <laughs> record know? my favorite shows. Yeah. <laughs> I'm revealing how old I am. Let's move on. <laughs> So really? you're from Newark. Mm-hmm. Um, what I wanted to talk to you about is you're not just a singer. You're an mm-hmm. actress. You did a play with the legendary yeah. Sissy Houston. Yeah. They're yeah. from Newark. Yeah. They're from Newark. So yeah. I'm like, well, I, don't, I don't even know if I should even ask you a question. How was that? And how did you even end up doing that? You're um, on that level, by the way. So that should be well, out the way. But, but thank you. Um, <laughs> I mean, first of all, Sissy and Whitney, they're like mm. my spirit moms. Like, mm. I, I ended up uh, performing at McDonald's Gospel Fest wow. um, some years ago. And I did it like maybe three consecutive years. And they're like, we want to bring you on for um, a play. Mm. You know, that we're going to be doing it. And the play was called Your Arms Are Too Short to Box mm. With God. And um, it was, they actually uh, recorded the play and uh, the play, the production took place at Sissy Houston's church. Wow. Out in Newark. And um, yeah, so that's how, you know, we got a chance to, you know, work Do together. Desiree Coleman was also in that play. Right. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a pretty dope experience being able to sing alongside her. She's truly amazing. Her voice is still amazing. <laughs> Is and uh, that that's definitely it was an honor working with her and even being in the same you know room as her breathing her air you're yeah like, yeah <laughs> she taught me a song um, her and her uh, her uh, niece which is mm. uh, Whitney Houston's cousin um, walking oh. the light beautiful light come where the dew drops of mercy shine bright. Where's my towel? <laughs> that church towel. You better go ahead, baby. Go yeah, ahead. It was just after one of our play <laughs> rehearsals, and they were like, you know, I think you would be, uh, you would, you should, you should sing this song. And uh, Whitney's cousin and um, Sissy, they taught me that song. Oh my goodness! And ever since I've been like just singing that song, has been, it's been my my Your song. Stage. Ooh, I love it. Yeah. I was gonna ask you, but I didn't want to like. Is it key? See, please, please. 
But since you did it, you stay ready. So you ain't never got to get ready. You know, you know that's it. You stay, stay ready. ready. You know. <laughs> I love that quote, actually. It's 222. Make a wish, y'all. Um, All right. Just make one real quick. <laughs> Michael Kendricks. <laughs> Let me stop playing. Collab but, with Kendrick Lamar. Mm. Right? Oh. That you know what? Let's speak that into existence right now because I actually. That's, why, that's the only that. reason why I told my wish out loud. I just right. had to speak it into existence. Otherwise, I want to shit. But, Kendrick, yeah. if you're listening to this, all jokes aside, because I don't know why you said that, but I was actually thinking about that, which is about to bring me to my next question. Sure. Because I was uh, at Made in America last weekend. Oh, how was and it? And he he played. It was amazing. He played, and the reason mm-hmm. for you know me basically restructuring some of these questions is because when I saw that festival and I saw that you were um, doing Battle of the Bands, by the way, why did you feel like you needed to do, we'll get into the next part, but why mm-hmm. did you feel like you needed to do the uh, Battle of the Bands Raffle Punk? Because you're, you're lo- not, you know, not downplaying anybody, but mm-hmm. somebody like you who's very accomplished, who doesn't, I don't think needs that sort of platform because the next thing, I feel like the next step for you would be to headline the festival why did you feel like Come you on, need to speak do it for real you know what i mean it, it feels like um, why did you do it um for me it's about the music um mm-hmm. i don't compare myself to anybody right um i don't think i'm better than anybody else or too good for anything um, my father told <laughs> me <are>. uh, <laughs> I am, so funny. julia you know i appreciate you for um, real but my father told me you know the minute you think you're too good mm-hmm. for something right you've lost the minute you think you're, you, the minute you think you're too mm. good for something, like it's a, it's a perspective thing. Right. If you, if you think about it. Um, <coughs> <Human art. coughs> I'm sorry. Um. It's about it's, it's 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 more about the experience. It's a new mm. platform. It's a platform I've never, uh, mm-hmm. you know, experienced before. Right. And it's about exposing myself to a new audience. That's what it's it's about. Right. You know, I want to reach as many people as possible. And headlining, yes, of course. Right. I've never been on a platform before, but I mean. I'm not too good to right, to better. perform on a stage with anybody or, or right. be alongside anybody. I like that attitude, but I'll have the um, confidence for you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I guess I'm just I'm just me. I'm, I'm um, I am you know humble. I don't think I'm right. I no, am. Who I am. Where where you see me, I appreciate right. that, and I, I I see myself there too. But I, don't, I definitely don't think it's yeah. It's one of those things where well, I guess I'll stoop down and <laughs> and do this. <laughs> You know, I, I, you know, I don't see it as that. Oh my God. I will perform on a train and I will perform on an award show stage. I hear that. And I, I think that's I, I feel like that's honestly the next step for you. Because yeah. I'm not even going to lie, because like when I saw that, I was like, why was she on Battle of the Bands? But yeah. I like that, you know, being here with you and yeah. getting a feel of who you are. You're very humble. That's for sure. Thank you. I will not be humble for you. I will be you that, I'm that person in the back. I'll I'm be a person in the background. Sometimes I wish I could be like, you know. But. She deserves it. I would be Kanye, like, for how he was with Beyonce. Jump up on the stage, steal the awards if they're going where they're not supposed to be going. You know what? Samira Gibson had one of the best videos of all time. <laughs> and then just walk off like that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be honest sometimes, sometimes, you know. But hey, what are you going to do? Um, so <laughs> you dropped two projects previously. Uh, what's next for Samira Gibson? Um, I dropped um, Reflections of Mirror. That was right. my first project. Um, my music has come a long, mm-hmm. a long way. So I just want to start from, from where I was and I'll make it. I won't drag out, but long story short, I started out writing my own music and I went through a phase of other people writing my music. Mm. Um, and I wasn't really connecting during the moment where uh, other people mm. was writing. So I had to get in, get back into writing my own music. But I, I realized the experience had to come with that. Mm. So I'm not no longer in like the same place. So like I'm really excited for the projects um, that are that I do to come out. I'm really excited for mm. uh, the world to hear it. Right. Um, it just really I feel like it's really going to speak to a lot of people. Mm. Um, I don't want to give any set dates or okay. third times of when it's when it's set to release but I do know for a fact it's it's definitely a a different me because mm. you know you're not supposed to be the same person you're right. supposed to grow you're supposed to you know live Change. life and experience and and tell a testimony to get somebody else through theirs mm. and that's that's really what I set out to do when it comes to my music mm. is to just relate to what I'm going through and hopefully somebody else, my story mm-hmm. and how I'm feeling, it, it gets them through. 
Mm. And it's really, really about about the music. But I do have um, things that I'm working on. Okay. And I do have some more um, visuals that's set to come out. Um, um, oh, you answer all my questions. Damn it. Ah, ah, okay. I'm sorry. I'm that's okay. Sorry. No, what you're doing, you're doing good. Um, but yeah, but yeah. Um, is I'm, I'm excited for for a lot of stuff to to be Roll to be seen out, yeah. and heard uh, with the world lot of things. Um, so yeah, 2019 is, is definitely gonna be a great thing. The rest of I can't wait. I, yeah, I, me neither. Let's crush the rest of this year first, because <laughs> I think that's gonna be the big thing here. But also, since we're talking a little bit about festivals, we'll wrap back into Kendrick. Well, what about Kendrick Lamar makes you want to collab with him? Um, Besides the obvious, but what what connects you to Kendrick Lamar? It's levels. It's levels when it comes to Kendrick. <laughs> you can't just say like one thing. Oh yeah, it's his word player. Oh right. yeah, it's his uh, you know delivery. Oh yeah, just on the right. artist side of things. Um, just watching his uh, his interviews and just mm. his his perspective of things and how he just he's he's one of a kind mm. and he's somebody that resonated with me from uh, from the beginning. Um, when I first started listening to Kendrick, um, mm-hmm. his music, him as an artist, just just everything like right i can't he's one of my top he's one of right. my top and him j cole is also another one that i really really like right. um um who else i feel like i want to work who? with andre 3000 as well i could see that too i could definitely see that i, I yeah i really want to work with andre 3000 I'm gonna speak andre if you're, you're listening if you are listening listen go check out samira gibson's music please because you will be very happy that you did it <laughs> thank me later let me get a, a residual later too i'm joking <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking yeah. ar checks <laughs> yeah man but yeah but, but going back to kendrick kendrick is right. like he's he's for the people mm-hmm. um he's he's genuine he's authentic um, right in his music and he's unapologetic he will get up on a stage and say like like god number one mm-hmm. first and foremost like you know he's he's that he's that guy mm-hmm He's that guy. Definitely. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that you said that. And then you you guys kind of have like similar. I never met him, but he just, just from being in his presence, you know, last week and y'all kind of have similar energy. Like when he's on stage, he commands the crowd. But then mm-hmm. like when he comes mm-hmm. back to himself, he's like, I'm just yeah. Kendrick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> he did a great job on Power too. I saw um, his, his uh, acting role. Yeah, I was so shocked about I that. I need to act alongside Kendrick. I need to act alongside Kendrick. Like, Let's set this up. How, like, he, how he just stars line killed the role. Like he straight killed the role. He really did, and that was a yeah. pleasant surprise. I think yeah. if they would have put Floyd, it wouldn't have been the same. Nah. Floyd May- Mayweather. No, 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 no. Uh-huh. I'm glad he didn't answer the phone because that <laughs> wouldn't have worked out. I'm like, God works in mysterious ways because right? that would not have been a good combination. I don't think he would have been humble enough to. to Ironic for him yeah, to be playing a, a yeah a poor a, person. A poor person. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. No, so no. do you have any upcoming shows that you want anybody to know about? Um, as far as now, I want, um, can I just say my, my social media so that Absolutely. they can keep an eye out for anything that's coming up. So um, Absolutely. at Samira Gibson, I post all of my stuff and I also have a, uh, a VIP list that mm. goes out. So everyone on the VIP list, um, if you go and subscribe, you can go to my website. Um, SamiraGibson.com and I was all um, over there. <laughs> yes, yes, please. I hope you subscribe to the VIP list because um, it gives you everything, access to uh, to uh, advanced release, mm-hmm. anything that comes out, you'll get it first. Um, I'm going to sign up now, actually, because I should have done that a long time please ago. Please do. You get all, all the videos first. You get all of the, the latest news, where merch. the next show is. Merch, yes. yes. Hey, you merch is get big merch these days. there, too. So, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So that's that's definitely something. Please look out for that so you can see any of the upcoming shows. Absolutely. Um, my VIP list gives everything. Ooh. So. I like that. Become, become a VIP. It's just some perks. Come I to will. some shows, get some incentives. <laughs> I give away, you know, fidget spinners and stuff. Hey, fidget <laughs> I need that at work to keep me focused, by the way. Yeah. Until you know, we get does. on out there. But uh, this is my favorite part of the show before we wrap this up. Uh-huh. Uh, five fast facts oh, about you know. Samira Gibson. Oh, you didn't think about this, you did know, you? No, no. You ain't think about this, I did you? I didn't. You know what? Right. This is why it's supposed like, to be five fast facts. Five fast facts. All right. All right um, boom. What, you, what, you, what do you want your fans to know? To, what you're comfortable with sharing? Um, 
<laughs> God dang it. <laughs> All right. Um, five facts about Samir Gibson. Um, I love sign language. Oh, um, wow. I started doing sign language. I learned it on the, the on YouTube on a computer. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm still learning. It's been like a journey over these, mm-hmm. these past years. So I have a few deaf friends. Wow. And, and anybody that I can interact with, it's been like there's a gap between the, the, the deaf community and the hearing and the hard right. of hearing. Um, so I definitely want to wow. eventually close close that gap or try my best to close that gap um, through my music mm. um, with singing and signing. Um, number two. Um, mm. I uh, like you already a lot. <laughs> really? I was like, damn. Okay. Anybody in the room, in fact, any any fat, fun facts that y'all have noticed about me I love ginger tea a okay. lot I make it mm-hmm. religiously I keep a big <laughs> pot of it on my stove mm. I have a cup of it in front of me right now I'm thinking about selling it on the on the uh so you can, that'll come along with the, the perks come early hey, to a show get a get a cup of ginger tea um Samir's ginger tea um let me see um what you got for number three let me see number three number three um hey. I'm very very passionate about kids mm. um uh, I worked with a nonprofit organization called Harlem Children's Zone. Wow. Um, with the CEO uh, being Jeffrey Canada, wow. um, African American man who is amazing, doing things, amazing things within the community, making sure that the kids see them all the way through to college. Like it's mm. really an amazing organization. Um, so I have a passion for kids and oh. reaching the next generation because that is the future, and the future is wow. now. So right. we have to, you know, also consider that when it comes to reaching back and staying connected with mm-hmm. the younger generation that's mm-hmm. that's really really important to me and let's cut this pill popping stuff out these i'm getting tired of the younger stuff. generation the younger generation you know? i mean <laughs> we we can only I, I i actually got on public transportation the other day mm-hmm. i was on the bus and there was a young kid short story young kid old old person got on the bus had a cane and the young kids are just sitting there and the bus driver didn't say anything. He's a, he's elderly himself. I guess he didn't mm-hmm. want to. But I had to, you know, kind of say, you know, when you see, I had to teach them. And then they got up and they said, oh, okay, nobody's telling them. Wow. Nobody's telling them. So I had to go to the bus driver then and then explain to him, listen, you have, you can't blame the younger generation without, right. Take without some. taking some responsibility of knowing better and not relaying the messages of right. the dropping the gems so that they can follow it. So you're um, dropping gems. That, that's like I'm number trying, four. I'm trying that. Is drop number gems. four. I try to drop, drop gems and pick up as many as I can. Um, hey, um, I feel it. Five. Make sure y'all look out. For upcoming stuff so please 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 sign up for the vip sign up for the vip list i know that was kind of a cheat for number five because i didn't <laughs> really think i love hats okay. i love hats if any there are any sponsors <laughs> out there that want to bless my life with with what hats. is the new era the with the the, the fitted i guess they're really popular the or era. the um love your what's the yeah. what's that that one where all the the rich white kids wear. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even look at. But if it's if it's a if it's a dope hat, and I believe what the brand stands for, mm. let's collaborate. Okay. Let's. I'm just want to put it out there. I'm speaking everything over the highways and byways and the, hey. and the airways. I'm playing around. <laughs> I hear that of this syndication. I just want to throw it out there. I really uh, appreciate you uh, considering me to come on your. No, thank you for Julia. even coming on. Because I'm like, damn, she's kind of big. I don't think she's gonna come on. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man, like, she's not gonna come on. <laughs> oh man, thank yeah. you, Samira. I really do appreciate you, yeah, and of course. I'm I'm waiting on that Kendrick. Uh, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna go very far and say this joint album. Okay. Or okay. multi okay. features on Let's the album. Let's do it. Let's do it. Jesse Let's Reyes it. did it, and she was like relatively not known like a year ago, and now she's like kind of booming. Yeah. And she's yeah. good. And I yeah. like her a lot too. Yeah. She did it. She did a thing too. Yeah. Samara, thank you again. Thank you so much. Shout Bye. out to the team. Shout out to Raw Forest Media. Shout out to Annie Box Studios. I appreciate you guys. Thank y'all so much for having me. And thank you, Anchor Lab, for allowing us to come in and do this, our thing. This is dope. Make yeah. sure you guys, this is going to be a line, a line of people waiting to come on your show. It's oh. really dope. You're genuine and authentic yourself, oh, so it, it's you. more like a conversation. Oh. Um, it's, I don't even look at it. I, I feel like we just sat down and got to know each other. And right? that's, that's, that's the best part. Oh, thank that you. That makes it so you. much Sorry. easier. I'm, I'm a righty, so I was like, going Are you right? Oh, yeah, yeah I'm so a righty, too. Like, yeah. I was playing around my life. <laughs> Let me stop playing. Genius, <laughs> thank you. Thank you.